Okay guys, this is a very different video from the normal stuff I talk about, but I think this is just a matter of common sense, right? This is about Mr. Beast drama, as you can tell from the title. Um, popular MMOs comes out and say, um, I hate ranting, but my entire feed is Mr. Beast drama. Do I have to be the only one saying everybody's influenced psychologically by commentary YouTubers? Just because people say something, you don't have to believe it. I'm not making a video because I don't want money. This man did a hundred times more helping than I ever could. So people are mad about an illegal lottery. Dude's giving people money instead of not. It's a silly law and he probably didn't even know it. Influence some videos for entertainment. Big deal. And his Amazon Prime show, it ran by a team, not him. Am I... They messed, they messed up, not him. Maybe Amazon, if anything. They definitely have more control than you think. It's driving me nuts because I've had plenty of drama about me. But he's helping the world more than I ever have. His friends are, his friend is gross, but that has nothing to do with, one, with him. Um, this is wrong. I think all of what he just said is wrong. Now, again. Just because people say something, you don't have to believe it. That's true. But if somebody shows you like blatant evidence of somebody doing something and it's like endorsed by multiple people and I'm looking at both sides here, right? Because again, initially I'm like, there's no way Mr. Beast could have done whatever the heck that happened, right? Because you know, most people knew, including myself, his content was faked or like amplified, exaggerated. For the entertainment value, that shock value. It's like, oh my god, you know? This happened in the video? Oh, I'm so shocked. But here's the thing, right? If you advertise your system, or like your whole company, as like, oh, this is legit. This is like 100% real. Everything about it is real. Then, why would you, you know... Why would people be upset... When people realize that thing that they've always went against was the thing they were doing the whole time. I would be upset about that shit. Right? Because, like, I don't, I don't follow Mr. Beast. A few of my friends do. But, yeah. If, if, if a company came out as false to their true word that they've been trying to keep for years, it's like, I would be upset about that. Right? That's why I followed this company in the first place. Because, you know, they said this thing. But now they actually turned against it. What's the point of this company? Right? It's like, I don't like it. But again, let's go back to this man did a hundred times more helping than anyone no, than I ever could. First off, I don't even think this guy has helped anybody. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know. But let's not, let's not point this at popular MMOs, no. Um, him helping was not because you know he wanted to help people. He's he said this multiple times. He's helped people because it benefits him. Helping is giving somebody something at a point where, you know, they can't get it themselves. That's what I think is what helping is. And it doesn't benefit you. It doesn't benefit no one but them. Right? It's a selfless act. But if you're again giving ten thousand dollars to people that are homeless so you can get advertisers to allow you to keep giving out money so you can keep keep getting more money for that I don't think that's necessarily helping even though it's a helpful act right selfless to give money to people but again you're getting something for that so at that point I don't think it's necessarily helping and then over time these people that he's been you know staging with evidence by the way it's just giving money back to himself. So it's like, what's the point in even trying to cover this up, right? And then, the craziest part of all this is that the team is sending out cease and desists for people with evidence. So again, Dog Pack, for example, perfect example. Commentary YouTuber. I don't think he's commentary anymore. Because if he was commentary, he would provide his own comments about it. But if he has l l little evidence, he has evidence, support, 
all this. He has people from the Mr. Beast team talking to him about their problems with the company. Right? And then he just says that he's a commentary YouTuber. And I know popular MMOs is directly referencing Dog Pack. Right? Because again, just because people say something, you don't have to believe it. It's crazy, right? And he's saying, but his Amazon Prime show was ran by a team, not him. Like, okay, I understand the Amazon stuff, right? Here's the thing. Mr. Beast is still a part of it, right? Mr. Beast coordinates most of it. Just like how Dog Pack has been talking about everything recently. It's ran by Mr. Beast. It's literally called Mr. Beast. I don't see how, like, you know, we can't blame him. Who else are we going to blame? Us? Like, you know, it, what what he's saying here, I think he feels like he relates on a level that he just shouldn't relate to. It's whatever, though. Let's go back to the bottom. Like, the bottom of his statement. His friend is gross, but that has nothing to do with him. This is where I realized that this whole thing was like a red flag, right? Because again, his friend is gross, but that has nothing to do with him. First off, his friend is a part of the team. So obviously that has something to do with him. If somebody on the team is weird, and he's been weird for years, everybody's known, right? I'm not calling him Ava Tyson. You know, I'm not disrespecting those types of people, but the fact that he does it for, you know, like a kink, I'm not doing that. I'm not abiding to that type of shit. And again, he's been doing this for years. It has something to do with him. And then also, like what EDP said, he was a pedophile. And look, I know I just said what EDP said, but he's he was right the whole time. Predators and predators know who predators are. And again, that has something to do with the company because it's gonna destroy sponsors. Having people like that on the team is gonna destroy sponsors. And guess what? Mr. Beast knew the whole time. That poster with Shad Base up there. I think he knew the whole time. So again. Just because somebody helps somebody doesn't mean it's off like a selfless, selfless act. It definitely means it's like there's something more to it, especially if there's a camera propped up to it. Be like, I'm giving this guy ten thousand dollars, and then it's like all cinematic and shit. And then it's like, I just walked up and gave that guy ten thousand dollars. Now, if you subscribe, you could probably get get ten thousand dollars too. And it's like. How how are you going to say that's helping? Right? You don't know what they're going to do behind that camera once it's off. Once they cut off to a next shot. You don't know what they're going to do there. But no, people are going to be like, well... Mr. Beast did something cool for that person over there. But it's like... Really? You don't know what happens behind that screen. You don't know what type of person Mr. Beast is. Right? And this drama is just exposing that, right? You should see how he talks on those interviews. Fuck poor people. Stuff like that. Like, sure, it could be ironic. Do you know? He says it pretty often. Right? It's like, man, I don't, I don't fuck with it. And there's definitely, like, a... I can understand if people do still support him because again he definitely did help people sure he did team c's which was also like a byproduct of coca-cola as a company but let's not talk about that you know what happened to all the money mm -hmm. oh went to the project is the project still going these weird things right it's like it's whatever it doesn't it doesn't affect me so I shouldn't care too much about it. But again, I just hate when people like this start like talking about things and then try to make like a 
you know, make statements like, oh, but he's helping the world more than I ever have. It's like, that's just bullshit. Yeah, that's about it.